Yo, Navatos, thanks again for tuning in to yet another video of Infamous coming at you live from the West Coast, yet again, San Jose, California. Let's take a look at this letdown of a nicer special. Uh, in my opinion, man, I just don't know why would they even put the special on this. It's the same engine displacement as the regular Nightster 975. Why would you guys even bother labeling this as special if you guys going to keep, keep it the same? So now based off of just the information, just looking at it, they only added, you know, a touch display speedo and bigger wheels. Uh, that's pretty much it. They didn't really do anything to it. From the video, it looks like they redesigned the tank. That's why I noticed it. If you guys saw my other video, the shape of the tank wasn't, you know, the same. It was a, it's a little bit shorter, a little bit wider compared to, of course, last year. I believe last year they had like a peanut tank on it. This year they're, they're making it, they're just toning it down a little bit more, but let's just look at this uh complete letdown from from harley so we got these massive uh you know new wheels on it i believe they're probably what this might be a a a 17 and, and a 19 maybe an 18 and a 19 up front let's take a quick look at the uh at the specs all right so we have a 16 in the rear and then we have a 19 uh, inch uh, wheel on the front so you know it, it's a good looking wheel uh it looks a little bit similar to the Prodigy slash uh, Roadster wheels. I mean, they do look good, but man, for what is this, fifteen thousand dollars? So, how much does the uh, does the regular Nightster cost? Here, let me check that out. All right, so the base, the basic, the standard Nightster comes in at thirteen five. Um, you know what? These wheels look just as good. All right, I I, I don't know. In my opinion. I like the way these look too. So these also look massive too. I, I believe these might be 19 on the front and then again, maybe 16 on the rear. I'm not going to look it up, but for 13.5, you get 975. Of course, everything's pretty much the same. It's just that, uh, you don't have the, the, you know, the same color options that you get with the, uh, with the special. So you get a speedo. I'm okay with this one. All right. You, you guys seen my videos. I ride with my phone on my handlebars. I use that for my GPS. And then of course my phone's connected via uh, Bluetooth on my Plex audio. Uh, yeah. I don't see the need for that speedo, uh, you know, for what is this? How much is this? 15,000. So how much are you paying for the speedo? A thousand five hundred dollars. Really? But uh, another, you know, detail to point out from the special and the standard, you get the passenger peeling seat. Uh, a seat that, uh, you know, you shouldn't put anybody on for more than 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> so you get that. And of course you get the passenger foot pegs. You don't get passenger foot pegs with the, uh, with the standard, um, you know, Nightster. But I don't think there's anything else I've missed. Uh, performance wise it's the same weight uh, it might be a little bit heavier because it you know it has the the additional weight of the passenger foot pegs and the seat but uh, everything else is the same oh wait a minute you also get the little windscreen <laughs> the little speed screen the little bikini fairing so you also get that and uh, kind of like the scout rogue I guess but uh, everything else is the same. I believe the risers a little bit, they're a little bit taller on the special. But I mean, is that really a thousand five hundred bucks? Bro, come on! I don't know for a thousand five hundred bucks. Uh, I would say, you know what? Instead of giving me the uh, the speedo, give me inverted forks. Give me inverted forks with dual disc brakes. And I'd be glad to pay the uh, the fourteen uh, the fifteen thousand bucks. So you get a couple more color options. You get the mustard yellow. Yeah, I'm not digging that one. The blue, I've never been a fan of blue, but man, it, I mean, this is what they've been doing with Sportsters. They only paint the uh, the uh, fuel tank, and this is this isn't even a fuel tank. It's actually a air box, and the air filter on the side that, that of course is a fake air filter. So your fuel tank on the Nystrs is right below the seat. But uh, I mean, that benefits, of course, you get uh, get more, you get, you get a lower point of gravity on the bike, kind of like on the Indians. They're engineered very well. Uh, you know, they've been engineering them very well the last couple of years, the Indian 
motorcycles. But uh, yes, you get a, a low point of uh, center of gravity, the weight, the overall feel. It feels a little bit more agile, not having that top weight of the fuel tank, uh, you know, on top of the on top of the bike. But uh, uh, you know, there, there's a con. You know, I'm I'm actually upgrading my Sportster's fuel tank to a 4.5. You're not going to be able to do that with the uh, with the Neister. You'll always have a 3.3 or 3.5. I think it's a 3.3 fuel tank on on uh, on the Neister. Let's go ahead and see. Uh, what, would it be under chassis? Oh, here it is. So fuel capacity, 3.5. So a little bit over three gallons. Uh, it sucks having to, you know, refill every other day. You know depending on how many miles you, you put on it but man look at the weight it's 465 pounds it's it's light uh a lot of performance of course i don't know lackluster a letdown i don't know but uh yeah i i would rather definitely save the thousand five hundred bucks and buy of course a settlement seat and then have uh you know still have money left over to get a like a Memphis Shades, uh, ro you know, Road Warrior fairing. Uh, what is that? So that's, uh, what is this, uh, 500 bucks for the seat. And you still have money for, of course, the uh, the fairing. And that's, what is that, a uh, thousand bucks for the fairing and the seat. And then you still have $500 left to, uh, to spend. You could, you know, you could upgrade your exhaust. Or you know what, maybe uh, forget about the fairing and just upgrade the exhaust for you know for a thousand bucks and have that that uh that comfortable seat that settlement seat on there so i don't know you guys let me know in the comments how would you guys spend the uh, you know a thousand five hundred dollars upgrading the nightster all right and now we, we know you don't need an air breather of course because your air box is is right here but i think it's funny that they sell uh, air breathers for for this bike knowing that it's you know it's fake but uh, i don't know I, I just got a kick out of it last year when i saw they were selling the big sucker for for the revolution max knowing that uh it doesn't do anything uh you know it's just for looks but um hey yes stay out there stay safe let me know what you guys think was this a letdown you know the nightster special what do you guys think about the bike um uh, don't believe everything read life's risk get out there and ride later <laughs>